Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Um, it's literally just nearly 48 hours away before League One gets back underway. You know, plan midweek, plan the FA Cup like some clubs did. It can have a bit of an impact on certain clubs. Same as always in every week. Um, a few shocking results, a few results that I thought... Maybe weren't going to plan out but the way they did. But anyway, there's a lot of things to talk about, so let's get down to it. This video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, link from my merch, down in the description below. So feel free to check it out after watching this video. But um, as I've just said, loads of talking points. So, you know, let's not waste any longer. Let's get down to it. Let's get down to our predictions. So, guys, anyway, you know what to do. You know what I do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Accrington Stanley versus AFC Wimbledon. Um, Accrington Stanley losing 2 0 at home to Peterborough United. And I don't know what stat that actually is, Accrington. So that's, they go, they've got one point out of five games. Uh, that's pretty bad stack, if I'm all honest. Um, Peterborough sitting up in fourth, nice and comfortably. Um, winning three out of the last four, losing that other one, and drawing the five, if you really want to know. Um, Wimbledon, on the other hand, drawing 2-2 at home to Burton Albion. Um, I'll look at the league stacks here like I do, and I think that's not a bad point for Wimbledon, if I'm all honest. Um, you know, Wimbledon, currently on 28 points, uh, only winning one of their last five. Uh, Burton Albion winning three out of their last five, drawing the other two. So we're going a bit undefeated at the minute with Burton Albion. Um, calling this game, I think it's going to be quite a tight game, and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Bolton Wanderers versus Tramia Rovers. Uh, Bolton drawing 1 1 at home to Bristol Rovers. I think that's a great point for Bolton there, if I'm all honest. Um, with the likes of, you know, Bolton are currently on 8 points. Um, Tramio losing 1 0 away, um, sorry, at home to Sunderland. Bolton, as I've just said, currently on 8 points, not won a game in their last 5. That's their first draw. Um, that's their first point, actually, I should have said. Um, in five games, so you know, they've still got a bit of a way to go. Um, they've got two games in hand over South End, and they've got one over Tramia. Um, them games could be key. And um, you know, even if you do go down, don't forget the higher you finish in the table, the more financial and um, you know, money comes into the game. So it's going to be an interesting name for Bolton, anyway. Um, Tramia. I just said, lost 1 0 at home to Sunderland. Um, I think the likes of Tram had 22 points, uh, drawing two at the last five, losing the other three. You really have got to, uh, you know, start expecting tight games for Tram I think, from now to the end of the season. This is going to be another tight game. Um, I'm looking at the goal difference goals for, goals against, and but I'm going to go for another draw, and I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus Coventry. Uh, Coventry drawing 0-0 away to Fleetwood. Um, bit of a disappointing day, um, if I'm all honest, for Coventry there. Uh, you know, with the likes of drawing against Birmingham. Um, Bristol Rovers drawing 1-1 away to Bolton Wanderers. Um, this game is very much a uh, a ported game for Coventry, uh, only a, in the playoffs by a point, with the likes of Portsmouth sitting in seventh, so they're ready to pounce. Bristol Rovers currently at 13, 38 points, and only picked two points up in their last five games. Um, but as Coventry have picked up. 11 points in the last five games. I'll go for a Coventry City win and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Coventry City win. My next one is Fleetwood versus Doncaster. Um, Fleetwood 0 0 at home to uh, Coventry. 
Doncaster beating Southhead 3 1 at home. Great three points there for uh, Doncaster. Um, as far as the league goes, Doncaster currently in ninth, four points off the uh, playoff places, so not that far away at all. Um, Fleetwood sitting in 11th, 38 points, only picking up four points in their last five. So, confidence wise, uh, Doncaster got to be slightly more confident over Fleetwood. Which I'll go for a 2-1 Doncaster win. My next one is Ittridge versus Peterborough. Um, Peterborough beating Africa Stanley 2-0 away from home. Great three points there for Peterborough. Ittridge losing 1-0 away from home to uh, Rotherham United. Uh, going into this game, Ittridge currently in third um, with... 48 points. Peterborough are currently in fourth with 46 points, so this could very much be a table changing game. Um, on look at their form table, very similar sort of form. Um, so I'm going to go for another draw and I'm going to go for a 3 3 scoreline for that one. My next one is MK Dons versus Wickham Wanderers. Um, MK Dons currently sitting in 20th, beating Rochdale 2-1 at home um, in the previous result. Great three points there for uh, MK Dons. Wickham beating Blackpool 2-1 at home as well. Um, and Wickham are currently sitting in second, drawing points with Rotherham and just goal difference that separates them which is what a lot of the season comes down to overall. Uh, both teams are, you know, definitely um, different goals in mind with the likes of what they're trying to achieve. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a Wickham win and I'm going to go for a 3-0 Wickham win. My next one is Oxford versus Blackpool. Uh, Blackpool losing 2-1 away to Wickham Wanderers uh, and Oxford didn't play, they played in the FA Cup. So only with that to reflect on, let's go over to the league table. Oxford are currently in 8th, um, 41 points, 4 points off of Coventry in the playoff places. Blackpool are currently in 15th for 34 points, only picking 1 point up in their last 5. With this game, it's going to be a very much um, confidence game, I think. I think Oxford have just got a bit more confidence than Blackpool, which one will go for a 2-0 Oxford win. My next one is Portsmouth versus Sunderland. A long trip for them Sunderland fans travelling down to Portsmouth. Um, Portsmouth beating Lincoln City 2-0 away from home. Uh, some of them beating Tramia Rovers 1-0 away from home also. So both these teams going in with a win under their belt for the previous result. Um, some of them are currently in 5th with 45 points. Uh, Portsmouth currently in 7th uh, with 3 wins out of their last 5, drawing the other one. Uh, the only difference is between the two teams that some of them have won one more game in their last 5. With this game, it's going to be a bit of a, you know, a bit. I think it's going to be a really tight game. So I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. And a very, uh, that'd be a game I would like to watch and be around person. My next one is Watchdale versus Shrewsbury. Um, Watchdale currently in 18th. Shrewsbury are currently in 16th. Uh, so it's going to be a very tight game. Um, Rochdale losing 2-1 away to MK Dons uh, with the likes of, you know, results like that could very much turn their season. Um, Shrewsbury losing 2-0 away to Gillingham. So both teams going in with a disappointing um, result from the previous week, uh, previous result, which I'm going to go for a very boring, very gritty 0-0 scoreline for that one. 
My next one is Rotherham versus Burton Albion. Uh, I know Rotherham are currently top of the table. Um, Rotherham did beat Ittridge the previous result 1 0 at home. Burton Albion drawing with Wimbledon away 2 2 away from home. Um, but, you know, going into this game, Wolverham sitting top of the tree, um, two points clear of third. Um, Burton Albion winning three out of the last five, Wolverham winning four out of the last five. The only difference is Burton Albion have drawn two more, and Wolverham have won one game and lost the other. So that's the only difference between the two teams, but I'm going to go for a 1 0 Wolverham win. My last one for this weekend is Southend versus Lincoln. Uh, Lincoln losing 2 0 at home to Portsmouth. Southend uh, losing 3 1 away to Doncaster. So both these teams going in with another disappointing weekend. Southend are 22nd in the league, only winning one of their last five. Um, Lincoln sitting in 14th, 37 points, only winning two out of the last five. Uh, both these teams, I think Lincoln are doing well on, considering they've been under new management a lot. Um, obviously, this is the old Lincoln managers went off to Huddersfield. But I'm going to go for a Lincoln win, and I'm going to go for, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to go for another one all scoreline for that one. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. So a big platform, hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.